Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to take your titles from this to something like this. Like all my tutorials guys, this one is super easy. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so first thing we're going to need to do is add a basic title. So go up to your title menu, type in basic, drag and drop that down onto your timeline. It's going to show it right in the middle right here, but what we're going to do is we're going to change the font and what it actually says. We're going to change it to let's say beyond. We're going to change the size because this is really actually too small. We're going to change the font to gloss and gloom, one of my favorites. All right, so go down and adjust the tracking. A Little bit more space in between actually makes it a little bit easier to do. So next we're gonna go down to the effects menu. We're gonna be choosing the mask effect. It's located in the masks. Drag and drop that onto the actual title. All right, so what that's gonna do for you guys is it's gonna actually allow you to add control points. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bunch of control points because we're gonna be moving a bunch of them around. Oh. Yeah, about six. And as you can see, it disappears because it's gonna mask all that area that's not revealed by that yet. So we're gonna go up to the video. We're gonna start the video at the beginning. We're gonna go into draw mask. We're gonna go down into control points. And we're gonna key that point. Make sure you guys are at the beginning of the video. We don't need to touch transform. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start moving these control points around. So we're gonna come over to the video and we're actually gonna start it a couple in just cause I mean, we don't want it to start right at the beginning and we're gonna start moving them. And as you can see, you can start to reveal it just a little bit every time. So we're gonna move it, adjust a couple keyframes and then move it again. A couple of keyframes, move it again. And a couple keyframes and move it again. As you can see guys, this is gonna take a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw it in hyperlapse and I'll be right back. All right, just the last couple keyframes and there you guys go. It's all revealed, it takes a little bit, but it gives an amazing effect guys. Really add something to your videos. I always go to the end and I always add a control point again, just cause it's in case I screw up later. So we click play, slowly starts to reveal it, almost as if your video is actually being handwritten across the screen and just kind of ups your video game. So if you guys like this video, hit the like button. That way I kind of know if you guys are even liking what I'm doing. If you guys are not a subscriber, hit that button too while you're at it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.